whatever. Hey, we're live. Um, should I go over to the other side where my horses are? Okay. I'm gonna sell this house. Gonna... Oh, that's good. I'm glad. Ow. I'm sorry. Packing up a little bit. Oh. I'm live. Sorry. <laughs> but that's good. I'm glad he sold his horse. Oh, I got one person. Hey, are you gonna help me with questions? Yeah. I got two people on. Well, because I don't see questions, do I? This is my first time doing YouTube, so. Did I do YouTube live? I don't remember doing it. Should I start? Just tell people that you're gonna start a little bit. Um, yep, I'm just gonna wait a little bit for kind of a little, couple more people to get on. Um, we are here at the RRP, the Kentucky Horse Park. So this is um, doing good. So far we've lucked out with the weather. It was supposed to rain like all week and it's been very sunny. It rained at nighttime, which is fine. So that's been really good. Um, We'll go through. Got while we're waiting for more people to get on. You know, see, there's Fledgy. Fledgy, say hello. Say hello, Fledge. Go, oh, you're being shy. So, Fledge came. He's been a good little influencer, keeping um, the thoroughbreds quiet in in the intense atmosphere. And then we have Sharpie. <laughs> Sharpie did really good this weekend. So he won the preliminaries for um, eventing. And he then also won best turnout. So his body condition looked really good. And then during the finals, he was super good. Jumped a clean round. It's actually his first clean round that he's had all season. And um, he finished up fourth. So I was really happy with his performance. He. Uh, handled everything great and he was also 11th in the uh, freestyle so um, in the freestyle there was like 60 something horses and in the venting there were 102 so again did really really good and um, yeah so then we have Dorado Dorado came for the visit as well because we have the makeover next week and he did good at uh, Stable View. Yeah, I was getting there. Yeah. Uh, Stable View. Um, he scored a 40 in dressage, right? We stayed in the ring, and then he had two little rails and show jump, and then we did have a little run out on cross country, but that was my fault. But he completed, and he handled himself decently. He had some Dorado moments uh, in the warm up, but overall, he did really good. He handled everything great, and he was very brave. So. Yes, I know. He's been a good boy. Lots of people have come up and said hello to him. So you can see he's <laughs> gotten pretty friendly. Then we'll move to the champion. It's hard to get the view of it. Sniper, come say hello. Sniper, really? Look at you. you got stuff all over you. So Sniper, oh, that's my head. Um, let's see what day I leave. I'll leave tomorrow morning. Um, so I'll have like a morning I can breathe. Uh, Sniper was actually winning the preliminaries and then he ended up at the end of the day, God. he was third, um, going into the finals. And then, ow, we uh, yesterday did some, no, you're not leaving. Freestyle, he did really good. He got chased fledged like a cow. Any tips for people to be able to do the Mustang makeover? Uh, do it. Kind of, um, also the Mustang community is pretty good about helping. So search Facebook, see if there's any people around you that do Mustangs. Um, go back to this guy. Yes, he's been rolling. He was allowed to get dirty. 
Um, no, I'm not keeping Dorado. Dorado is for sale. Um, let's see. Hi, Snipes. Snipes then had a really good uh, finals. And yes, you did. You did very good. He uh, jumped around great, handled the crowd really good, and he ended up winning. So now we move on to or yawning. Um, what's called the America's Most Wanted. So we, uh, the top winners, there's 10 divisions here at the RRP, and um, all the top winners come back, and there's a vote via text for America's Most Wanted Thoroughbred. So, hopefully, this dude will be America's Most Wanted. We'll need anybody who can, um, who wants to vote for us to help us win be great um, there is a live stream that I've posted on my social media on my Instagram my Facebook um, so if you guys want to watch some great uh, thoroughbred action that's good Let's see will this live stay on your channel yes this will be posted on my channel all right what was the last question I couldn't read it it's hard to do the lives and read at the same time Oh, so I would love to answer the questions about the Mustangs, but we are here for the thoroughbred makeover, so I need to kind of stay a little, don't you think? Or is, yeah. or is it Let's focus on, let's celebrate, like, focus on the I got to celebrate the thoroughbreds right now. I'll do another question and answer for the Mustangs for next week. Yeah, next week I've got the Mustang makeover. So that's where if you guys have questions about your Mustangs, stay tuned for next week when Dorado gets to go do his makeover. Um, so let's just try to keep the questions directed towards the thoroughbreds. Am I keeping Sniper and Sharpie? So, um, oh, <laughs> yes, hopefully. Uh, Sniper is owned by Michelle Chisholm. She's been a very a good supporting owner and so hopefully uh, we will be continuing going forward in our training he'll be moving up in, um, uh to training level in a month don't bite my glasses and um, Sharpie is owned by Susan Day and he's definitely staying with me so um, yeah well I'll be ready to do it next year absolutely hopefully I'll have another horse soon um, all right, now the questions Biggest are coming. Challenges. Biggest challenges. Um, they've both been really good horses to bring along. Uh, thoroughbreds can be a little tough kind of in the beginning getting them to adjust and just... Uh, like this guy, <laughs> he's pretty funny. Uh, he's always been kind of a cocky guy. And um, what, do you, what does that one want me to answer? Someone says, please answer. What do I see Snipes and Sharpie doing? Uh, hopefully they're advanced horses. Um, yep, definitely look at breeding and confirmation. How long do you have the horses? How long do you train them for your RRP? How long? Um, well, I got these guys off the track, I think around in September, and they had vacation time for September, October, November, December. It's three, four months. Uh, so didn't do anything with them. They got to decompress from the track and then um, they started training in December. So they've been in work for about a year, coming up on a year in December. Um, uh, looking for, I know it's annoying. The speakers are going. I, yep, Snipes agrees. Um, so uh, ideally you would look for confirmation uh, over breeding. You wouldn't just, I mean, but breeding can give you a good indicator. So both of uh, Sniper and Johnny are, or Johnny, uh, Sniper and Sharpie are related to Johnny. Don't bite me. Um, Johnny's like their uncle or cousin. And um, so, I like to look for, you want horses that have good feet. You definitely want confirmation because that's going to keep a horse sound. And that's what you really want to have in an event horse. You need to have a sound horse so you can't ride it. So nice solid feet, 
Um, you're dirty. Good bone. You want a good shoulder, a nice neck that comes out of the shoulder. Sniper's still kind of growing a little bit. Um, so, uh, but that's what I, I like to look for. And of course, you need to have a horse that has a good mind and wants to work. So a couple of questions about how do you slow down, how do you get them to focus? So uh, getting them to slow down and focus, that's where I start them, I kind of start them over with my groundwork and then working them bareback in a halter and doing lots of trails, um, kind of trying to mix things up. And each horse is different in kind of what their needs are. Some horses can go straight into uh, flat work, like Sharpie really enjoys the flat work, um, while this guy <laughs> needed a little bit more. Uh, he liked to play at Liberty in connection work. So, uh, sniper, um, don't you bite me. I know there are a couple more questions I could see him. Well, when you have an owner, and the owner pays for the horse, they pay for the board, they pay you training generally. Um, and I mean, there's only so much you can do financially wise. So as a rider, you do look for owners that are willing to support you and uh, give you the ride on good, talented horses. And I've been very lucky to have that with Michelle and Susan. And um, so, yeah, and like, even though it's a client's horse, each horse is, is I treat them like my horse. So, um, there's really no difference between, I mean, I guess, I mean, they're all close to my heart, so. How successful were they in their racing? Um, so, Sniper won one race, and he raced something like 22 times, if I remember. And then um, uh, Sharpie raced 61 times and he won seven times. But he only won like 59,000. I can't remember how much he won at the track. He, he still won some money. The Sniper, yes, yeah, Sniper did the freestyle yesterday. Uh, we have videos of all that. So it, there's been a backlog because I've been competing and haven't. So, so just to give you guys a little idea of my schedule we have been going to bed at midnight and getting up at 3 30. so it's been long days and a really just consistent work um so yeah sniper did the freestyle yesterday with fledge and again we'll post that video up when i have it uh sharpie was uh what was he 11th in the freestyle and he was fourth in the eventing how far, what did that last one say? I mean, generally the East Coast, I, I stick with, I mean, these guys, he came from Delaware. Um, so, I mean, depending on kind of the shipping, but you know, I'm on the East Coast, so that's where I, New York to Florida, I guess. No, I make the, I can make them more confident, um, for sure. Uh, that's kind of your job of being a trainer, to enlist, uh, um, to give them the help. So, I mean, the biggest example is uh, Dorado, who was a wild horse and was highly spooky and of uh, stuff, and so I had to build up his confidence. And that's, that's the really fun part is when I can do that, and then horses really enjoy their job. So... Uh, these two thoroughbreds, Sharpie and Sniper, are really brave and um, they really do enjoy their jobs, so it's been really fun. A couple questions about clinics. Well, I've got one clinic coming up in Boston. It's a one day um, at Azriel Acres. Um, and then, as far as the rest of my clinics, I don't have anything as of yet for November and December. Those have to be done in the uh, southeast. 
because of winter. Yeah, and if anyone's interested in hosting one, you certainly can contact me on my email, which is on my Facebook uh, or my website. See, I'm dealing with a keeps trying to bite me. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome, Jimmy Ray. How much do you charge for riding lessons? Huh? What? That's actually a lot, a lot of this information is posted on my website, um, which is www.walsaventing.com. So it's got all my fees, my training fees, um, and all that good stuff if you guys are interested. No, not really. Um, like, uh, well, I guess it can. It can influence. So, for instance, if you have a horse with a fair amount of races, the things that you want to look for, or you don't want to really see gaps in their records, that can um, that can mean there is an injury. Um, so, if you have a horse that has a consistent race record, that generally means they they stayed sound. Uh, the other thing that can be an indicator is if a horse only has one or two races, and it's slow but it's sound, it could have. I've run across this when they're really slow uh, they can have a breathing issue so that's kind of the first thing if I have a horse that has one or well I scope all mine but it's a I've just learned from that lesson before um, and then you know you have horses like Sharpie who had 61 races which people you know think that they're um, spazzy or broken and he vetted perfectly clean and he's been a very good boy so um, it can give you an indicator of some things to look for in a vetting or kind of how the horse can handle a workload. I don't know. Stop trying to bite me. I mean, generally, I mean, I mean, I have like, how many, well, I don't have that many clients in the barn. I have a lot of them that are mine. Um, probably 10. All right, all right, 10 horses of the same ones. Have you ever, uh, I haven't taken on a standard bred. I've helped train one before, but not on, um, standard breds can be tough to, to bring along. Um, they're, now they're good horses, but they, it, for the jobs that I want them to do, it can be a little difficult because they can weak at the canter and stuff like that. Being annoying. What? Yes. Johnny's preparing. He just came off of finishing fourth at the three star at Stable View, and he's preparing to do the CIC three star uh, at the Jockey Club in Ocala. And then someone said something about pre purchase. Mm -hmm. Uh, Pre-purchase is definitely something to always consider when you're getting a horse off the track. It's good to have a vet go over the horse so you, you don't have any surprises. Um, it's always good to scope a horse. I like to have flexions and x-rays done. It may seem like a lot of money, but it's definitely worth it um, to kind of get you heading, at least so you know. And there are certain things that can show up on the vetting that um, may not they're just going to be there. They're not going to affect the horse's soundness, but it gives you a heads up. Uh, Sharpie and Sniper are related to Johnny through Danzig. And if you guys are interested in looking at pedigrees, you can go to, or the race records, you can go to www.equibase.com. Yes, Johnny is an Australian off-the-track thoroughbred who raced in Queensland 10 times and was horrible at it. Are you getting mellow now after you tried to eat my arm? Coming to try out. What did they say? Oh. No, there was another question about someone trying horses. Um, working student, I currently have a working student. Um, I might be looking for someone in the part time, possibly, but. Um, Email me if you're interested in being a working student. You can check that out on my uh, Facebook or website. My email's everywhere. 
Who would you say is the better event horse? What did it say? Off track, third red, warm blood, or what? Oh, well, all of the above. I have everything in the barn. <laughs> um, depends on the horse, again, but I certainly think the off the track thoroughbreds have a place in the venting as well as the Mustangs. And uh, a good warm blood, there's nothing wrong with that either. So um, I just do what I like to ride. Yeah, I'm doing a little talk. Are we going for the uh, the award? We're live. That we're doing? Yeah. Trying to, yeah, we're live. So, how is Schneider and Sharky and Johnny doing? I told them that already. Okay. Um, Rolex, really? Uh, we'll be shooting for Rolex next spring with Johnny. And uh, no, Burley. He's just, he won't be going overseas anymore. It's just too much for him, I think. So, he'll just do Kentuckys until he doesn't want to anymore. My favorite thing about riding off the track thoroughbreds is uh, their tenacity and um, their heart. So when you, they really will fight for you. So they're good horses. So the next thing for you is Sniper is the America. Yeah. So the next thing that will be happening this evening is uh, the American. What is it called? America's most. America's most wanted thoroughbred. So, oh my gosh, Sniper has bitten my shoe. Stop. So, um, we need everybody's help to text for us uh, to make Sniper the most wanted thoroughbred because, I mean, look at that mug. He's adorable. Look at that. And he's pretty darn talented, too. So, we don't know the number, we don't know the number yet. Um, but if you guys can keep up it we'll try we'll be doing uh updates on my facebook page and twitter and, twitter and uh instagram and, instagram and, and also you can watch the live stream which is on uscf network and uh I, there's a lot of cool um divisions that are happening so there's still polo um dressage freestyles coming up which i have a couple of friends that are competing in and um working ranch so really cool stuff to watch and um again i'll be posting this live on the youtube channel so um if you guys still have questions you'll probably can go back and watch it from the beginning and i might have answered it so thanks for uh joining us and um hopefully we can uh win america's most wanted right snipes all right peace out everybody thanks for coming No, don't leave your stop.